Greetings, and welcome everyone to Retro Game Repairman, where we learn to get vintage video games to run on modern hardware. I'm your host, Ace, and today's game is a classic from the golden age of mech simulators, Earth Siege 2. First released all the way back in 1996, as part of what would later become the Tribes universe, Earth Siege 2 is a solid mech sim with some air simulation thrown in as well, and along with other games from the Tribes universe has been made into freeware, so there's no reason not to try it out. Well, except for the fact that it doesn't really run right out of the box on modern hardware, but of course we are here to fix that. Once again, I must mention that this fix is being tested on a Windows 10 64-bit with 48GB of DDR4 RAM, an i7-6700K processor, and a GTX 980 Ti. And with all of that said, let's get into it. First, I should mention that someone has already created a fix to get the game running. Unfortunately, this fix also includes a copy of Windows 95 running on DOSBox, and so while the game itself is freeware, the copy of Windows 95 is probably not. And there Therefore, I cannot provide a link to that particular fix. I will, however, mention it as a potential backup option for you. Getting back to the guide, however, the first thing you'll want to do is download the CD image for Earth Siege 2, and in addition, download a special installer for it. Once this is done, mount up the game and install it using the installer. When you do this, you'll be offered a choice to use music from either the CD-ROM itself or from MP3 files in the game's directory. However, both of these choices have their pros and cons. The good news for the MP3 version is that you will be able to play the music from the game's directory, although you will need to download the music separately as the ISO version does not contain the music. The downside to the MP3 version is that for whatever reason it tends to mess with controller compatibility, meaning that you'll likely be stuck using mouse and keyboard. If you use the CD version, the good news is that you should have controller compatibility. The bad news is that you'll need a physical copy of the game in order to play music from it. Next up, you'll want to download Narzul's DDraw compatibility fix and extract that fix into the game's directory. Next up, you'll want to go into the game's directory, right-click on the three highlighted files shown here, and select properties for all of them, and then go into the compatibility tabs for these various files and configure them as shown here. Finally, as an option, you may want to consider downloading the music files. Fortunately, I have created a zip file specifically to make this process easier. And if you decided to install the CD version of the game, you can still use an MP3 player to play the music in the background. Congratulations, if you have done everything correctly, then your copy of Earth Siege 2 will be playable. And again, it is, in my opinion, a game most certainly worth trying out, especially given that it is freeware. With all of that said, I hope that you have found this guide to be of use, and I hope to be back again with another guide soon. But in any case, this has been Ace. Hope to see you guys again soon. Take care. Ace out.